advice from your doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, save where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. In our four point kneeling position. So just taking a moment to get that neutral alignment in your spine and pelvis. So we want the knees underneath the hips and our wrists underneath our shoulders and just looking at the creases in your arms making sure that they're facing towards each other and not poking out. Real nice spread of the fingers, a little engagement in those deep abdominals keeping our spine nice and long. And we'd like the chin parallel with the mat so we're not dropping our head and we're not sticking it out too much so once we're nice and comfortable we're going to go into our cat uh, stretch which is really good for a bit of flexion and then we're going to alternate that with extension so going into our extended cat so this is a really lovely exercise especially for getting things moving in the digestive system so let's take a breath in to prepare and as you exhale I want you to start to roll that pelvis on top of your thighs. Scoop the belly so you can feel your belly button going towards your spine. Open the lower back, open the mid back and fully flex. So let the head drop, look between your knees. Just say yes, just say no, just making sure there's no tension in that neck. Breathe in, then exhaling coming from both directions, so head to tail. We're going to start to come back to that starting position and then into some extension. So we're slightly sticking out the bum and now bringing our gaze slightly more forward. And then let's round our back again and start to come into that cat. So we're scooping that belly and then releasing from both ends, coming into extension. Breathing, switch, scoop that belly. So let's get quite a nice flowing movement from it. And at any point you feel fatigue in the shoulders or the wrists, you can always come back into a rest position. You should just start to feel quite nice in the spine. So really scooping up. Let's just go for two more of these. So breathe in through the middle, exhaling. Breathing in and exhaling. Good, just settling yourself back to that starting position and just carefully lower your seat bones. Try and keep the knees wide if you can. Just start to stretch those arms forward, just releasing those shoulders and just taking a breath here. Breathing in and breathing out, breathing in. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna come straight back into that four point kneeling. So we're gonna come into our tabletop. So engaging the center, so we're not losing our neutral spine, we're not collapsing. We're gonna take a breath in, and as we exhale, start to lengthen that right leg away. And then as you inhale, you're gonna reach and lengthen that leg behind you, trying to keep that pelvis as stable as possible. Lower that leg back down and slide the knee back into the starting position. So we exhale, slide the left leg away now. Breathing in, lengthen, reach, really feeling that left glute start to work. Lower yourself back down and draw the knee in. So let's keep alternating. So the key here is to keep a neutral pelvis and spine. We want to avoid any tilting, any rotation. 
So sometimes if you bring the leg too up high, we can be collapsing. We don't want to be doing that. We want to really uh, keep that gauge of support in that deep abdominals and the pelvic floor throughout. Good. We're just going to do a few more sets. So we're lifting, lowering, drawing that knee back in. We've got one more set, so one more to each side. Making sure you're even. And then once you've done an even amount, you're just gonna push your pelvis back between your knees and stretch forward. Just release. If you can, try and keep the seat bones nice and open. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, and then carefully rolling up that spine, bone by bone by bone, into your seated position. So we're gonna come into a seated stretch now. So sitting comfortably up onto our seat bones, if you're finding you're struggling keeping a neutral pelvis and spine, uh, sitting on a block or a book will help with that. We don't wanna be collapsing, we want real length and energy through that spine. Thinking of the rib over hip connection. So arms are going to just be down by the side, feet are flat into the mat, about hip width apart. We're going to take a breath in as we reach those arms up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're going to start to lower the right arm behind us into a little waist twist. So lowering the arms and then bringing them back, going over to the other side. So we're exhaling as we twist, breathing in and exhaling. Breathing in, exhaling, breathing in, so let's just do one more set, making sure you're even on both sides, and then after your last one, arms come back up and float yourself back down, where you can just start to bend over your knees. Just give yourself a little stretch, a little hug. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. So let's bring the soles of the feet together now. And the legs are fair distance away from the body, knees are slightly bent. We're gonna place the hands just on the tops of our shins. So still keeping that length and energy through the spine, so we're not collapsing. We've still got a little engagement in those deep abdominals and the pelvic floor throughout. So we're gonna come into some spine stretch forward. So taking a breath in to prepare, as you exhale, we just tuck the chin first, and then start to scoop at that belly, and flex the spine forward. Now the key is to not move in the pelvis. So let the arms just start to slide down, keep scooping in that belly, maintain the position, and then restack from the bottom so we're engaging those deep abdominals, restacking, letting ourselves come all the way back up to our seated position. So let's go again, breath in, breath out. Scoop the belly, Flexing forward, maybe going a little bit further this time. Breathe in, breathe out. So scooping, 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 restacking, having rib over hip connection. So on the next one, we're gonna tuck the chins, reach your spine forward, and if you want to, just start to give your feet a little massage. Just hold here. Maybe release any tension you have in the feet. Sometimes wake up the digestive system. And re-stacking. Head comes up last. Let's just go for two more. Breath in, breath out, tuck the chin. Scoop the belly, flex forward. Being aware that we're not getting too much movement in those hips or pelvis. Breathe in. Releasing all that carbon dioxide out of you. Restacking, letting the shoulders relax. Last one, breathing in, breathing out. So scooping the belly, flexing forward. We're actually gonna hold here for an extra breath. So breathe in, breathe out, 
breathe in, reset from the bottom, bone by bone by bone, head comes up last, shoulders relax, perfect. I'm going to come into some side stretch, I'm just going to bring myself forward. So still keeping the feet a fair distance apart, uh, feet together, knees bent, arms just down by the side, just roll those shoulders, let them sit comfortably uh, behind on the backs of the rib cage. So still got that neutral spine, a little engagement in those deep abdominals. Let's breathe in as we reach that left arm up and exhale as we float over to the side. So we're keeping still length in both sides of the waist, the other arm can have a little bend. Restack and lower back down. So breath in and exhaling. Hold here, breathe in and restack. Lower the arm. So we want the arm to come up first. Make sure that the shoulders aren't pinching. Then think head, neck, upper spine. So we're not just collapsing in the waist. And we're still using those deep abdominals to keep our spine supported within. Breathe in, hold. Good, let's just do one more to each side. Breathing in and exhaling. Breathing in. Last one. Keeping an even weight in those seat bones as well. Back up and lower back down, really good. Let's draw the feet together, draw the knees together. I'm just gonna come into a little waist twist, so we're gonna bring the arms out to the side, making sure they're not too high up, the shoulders are relaxed down the back. Let's take a breath in, and as we exhale, starting with the left, we're thinking head, neck, breastbone. So we're starting to follow the gaze with our left hand. Hold, maintain, and then bringing yourself back to center going straight over to the other side. So thinking head, neck, breastbone. Breathe in and coming back. Other side, get a bit more of a flowing movement now. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're exhaling on the rotation, on that twist. See if you can go a little bit further each time. Again, even weight in your seat bones. And if your arms fatigue, you can just give yourself a quick little breather. Good. Whatever set you're on, you're gonna do one more set to each side. And then once you're even, Lower those arms down, we're just going to roll those shoulders twice. So after our waist twist, we're going to carefully lower ourselves down onto the mat, any way that you uh, wish to do. So whether you just want to carefully roll yourself back, reach the arms out, stretch the legs, point and flex the toes. And then bring those arms back down, bending the knees, parallel hip width apart. If you need a little head cushion, just to make sure you've got a nice alignment from the neck into the spine. But just holding the position here for a moment, just start to feel the three body weights into the mat. So the head, the back of the rib cage, and the back of the pelvis. Arms are gonna come down by the side. Now I want you to imagine you have a little marble in your belly button, and we're going to tilt our pelvis. So that marble is starting to roll up towards our lower ribs. So the lower, lower back is flattened into the mat, and this is where we're gonna to start to open the hips, push through the feet, let the hips really open and the ribs lower down, relaxing them. Taking a breath in here, then exhaling, keeping that tuck in the pelvis, bone by bone by bone, we're gonna to start to lower the spine back down. Good, let's keep going. So we exhale, Wheel and peel the spine up and away off the mat. Breathe in and lower yourself back down. Good. So 
scoop in the belly. Really feel like those knees are lengthening away from you, relaxing the ribs down, keeping the chest open. Good. So exhaling, even weight through those feet, making sure that the knees aren't wanting to drop in towards each other or fall out to the side. Nicely through the centre line. We're going to do two more of these. Exhaling. So making this your last one. Really opening those hips and then carefully lowering yourself down bone by bone by bone. And then finding your neutral position, that grounded tailbone. And you can just draw both knees in towards the body. Just give yourself a little hug, a little rock. Placing those feet back down and then we can start to come into a single knee fold with the right leg and just pull the knee in towards the body, really give it a nice stretch and if it feels okay you can lengthen the left leg along the mat. So just holding it here, breathing, keeping your elbows nice and wide, chest open and you can just do a few little points and flexes with the feet but just breathing in. Nice deep wide breaths in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Breathing in and exhaling. Good. Just start to slide that left knee back into um, to a bent knee and then we're going to lower that right leg down. We're going to go over to the other side. So we've got a single knee fold now with the left. We're going to pull that knee in. Hold it here and if you're happy you can then lengthen the right leg away. And let's just do a few little points and flexes with the feet. And then just hold here, breathing in, keeping the elbows nice and wide, the chest open. So really breathing deep down into that belly. Almost like you're trying to breathe in between your legs. Good, one more breath here. And then sliding that right leg up, lowering the left down. And we're gonna bring the, the knees together, the ankles together. And we're just gonna open the arms out to the side. We're just gonna do some very gentle knee roll, um, hip rolls, sorry. So we're just taking those knees over to one side keeping the opposite shoulder really heavy into the mat. We're still engaging those deep abdominals to help facilitate that movement, especially as we bring the knees back to center. So let's exhale, take them over to one side. Breathe in, exhale, come back to center. Other side. So we exhale on the movement, getting a lovely bit of rotation in that spine. Breathe in, exhaling other side. So that top foot lifts. We're keeping the knees nicely stacked on top of each other. So try not to let that top knee slide away. So we really need to engage the core, lift that hip. Let's just do one more to each side. Making sure you're nice and even on both sides. Good. And then after your last set, just bringing your knees back to center and just start to draw both knees back in. Give yourself a little hug. Breathing in. And maybe just opening those hips up a little bit. And going the other direction. And then lowering the feet back down, carefully coming over onto one side of your body, pushing yourself back up to a seated position. So we will be finishing in a seated position. We're going to keep the right knee bent and we're just going to lengthen that left leg away. So softly flex foot, but not so much that you can feel gripping into the hips. 
arms just down by the side. We're going to reach them up and just start to float forward. See if you can grab your ankle or foot and just hold here, getting a nice stretch. Breathing in. And then as you exhale, can you just draw yourself a little bit further? Breathing in. And then exhaling, just start to restack that spine. Back to seating. Let's take our left hand and just place it on the outside of the right knee. Now you can grab it um, however happy you are. If you want to have a slightly deeper stretch, you can take your right leg over the left knee. So it's completely down to you. But we're going to hold that right knee in towards us and start to draw ourselves around, just coming into a nice little seated twist. So bringing your gaze behind almost towards your right shoulder, just going whatever feels happy for you and just going to breathe here. One more breath. Good. Just carefully unravel yourself. If your knee is over the um, your knee, just bringing it back. Lengthen both legs away, or you can have them bent, depending. But we're just going to give ourselves a quick little stretch forward. And then going over to the other side. So let's keep the left knee bent this time and extend that right leg. Let's float the arms up and exhale, start to uh, float that spine forward, either grabbing the ankle or our foot and just holding here, breathe. Try and keep the weight even on both seat bones. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. And then carefully rolling yourself back up. Then coming into our little twist, so you can either keep your foot here, or if you want a slightly deeper stretch, you can bring the foot over to the other side. And then we're going to grab the left knee with our right arm and just start to twist. So gently looking over that left shoulder, breathing in and releasing. With each breath, maybe just getting a little bit more rotation, but listening to your body whatever feels good for you. Nothing should feel forced or uncomfortable. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. And then on your next exhale, just start to draw that spine back to center. And then open that foot. I'm actually gonna come into a little wide stance now. You don't have to, you can have the feet together in your long frog position, you can be cross-legged, but I'm just going to allow myself to just roll forward a little bit, just releasing all my, um, my spine. Just let the head drop. And then just restacking. And then if you want to, just bringing your arms back, just coming into a little extension, pushing that chest forward, breathing in. Good. Let's just draw those legs back in. Coming into a nice, comfortable seated position, having your legs crossed out in front. And we're going to start to take that right ear over the right shoulder. Just hold here, breathe in. And then if you want to, just start to drop that chin to the chest. Hold here. And then bring ear back to shoulder and center. Let's go to the other side. So let's just drop the left ear now over to the left shoulder. And you can either stay here or you can just drop the chin and roll forward. Coming back ear to shoulder and straightening the head. Let's breathe in as we reach those arms up, shoulders down the back, and exhaling, coming back down. One more, breathing in. Good, and on the last one, let's reach those arms, bring the hands into a prayer, lower them down, pressing into your breastbone, shoulders down, elbows wide. Breathe in, breathe out. 
and this is where I'll leave you. Thank you very much.